All right, everybody, Grady Polson here, Family First Life America. Very excited to have Danny Hernandez on with us out of El Paso, Texas. Uh, we're just we're at the edge of your 90 days with us. Is that correct? About, yes, a little bit about, over 90 days. About 90 days. Comes to us out of El Paso, Texas. And just this last month, so we'll say the third the third 30 days, right? The last set of 30 days, last month, he protected 45 families. And this past week, he protected nearly 19 families. Is that all correct? That's correct. So Danny's a worker. Uh, it's apparent by his numbers. He doesn't make excuses. He doesn't justify the, his lack of results. He goes out there, he makes it happen, and he's proud to do so because that's what winners do. So I'm excited to have Danny on today. I'm excited to hear from him. And even more so, we may have a, a special... Um, bilingual section of this training, which is going to be exciting for us all as well. But Danny, I'm, dude, I'm beyond excited to have you on here. Alex sings your praises every time I talk to him. And I'm sorry, personally, it's taken so long for us to actually connect. But uh, but I'm excited to learn from you, excited to hear from you. And I would be more than happy if you'd kind of pass the torch over to you and you kind of tell everybody your background and story. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, definitely uh, about 90 days here with FFL. I'm stoked. Uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, first of all, first off, um, so I did, I, I've been in the insurance business for uh, about I want to say a little bit over a year now. Uh, I was with a practice company before for about seven, eight months. Um, um, I did see the potential in this business. I just, I was, uh, unfortunately, I was in, you know, in, in the wrong spot. So um, I was actually introduced to FFL. I, I was one of those guys that uh, sent a DM to uh, Sean Mike and like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know, hoping that he would reply. So um, the story goes, and I found out later that I guess he was with uh, Jordan Lowry at the time. And so he kind of told, you know what, text this guy, I'll reach out to him. Um, and that's how I got introduced to FFL. Um, Jordan Lowry reached out to me. He introduced me to uh, to Ale Alexander Strait. And uh, from, I mean, from there, it's been, you know, just grinding, grinding and, and, and helping, uh, obviously helping as many families as we can. So uh, my first name, actually, uh, so you guys might see Danny and then Gibran. My, my first name, I'm Mexican, so I have like four names, you know, two last <laughs> names. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's actually Gibran. Daniel Hernandez Olmos. So uh, if you see Danny Hernandez or Gibran Olmos, that, that's the same guy, man. So <laughs> I like it. You're, you're not running two accounts and just selling <laughs> no. twice as much. <laughs> no, you know what? When I do call a client who, you know, when I'm being very pushy and I kind of, I kind of cut this uh, from Cassandra there at the, at the convention where, oh yeah, no, yeah. My name's uh, Gibran Hernandez, but uh, yeah. So some guy, Danny, he just called. It was really, really pushy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that guy's really pushy, but my name's Ivan. I'm actually here to help you. So, <laughs> so I, I guess it benefits. It benefits me sometimes. That's but awesome. um, yeah. So um, again, I was introduced to FFL through uh, Jordan Lowry, and uh, obviously, I was uh, I landed with uh, Alexander Strait, which has been. I mean, my he's been so helpful to just to us, not not necessarily just me, but to the El Paso office. Uh, he's a uh, he's a text away or a call away. Um, the first thing he said when I called him, he's like, uh, you know what, I'm going to fly down there to El Paso and I'm, I want to spend a couple of days with you. I'm like, is this guy serious? You know, like, so he did, he like, you know, within a matter of uh, weeks, he, uh, he, uh, booked his, he booked his flight on his own dime. Uh, didn't ask for, you know, like, where am I staying? Nothing. So I was, that, that alone was surprising to me. Um, when I, uh, when I picked him up, I pulled up to pick, pick him up at the hotel where he was staying. I see, you know, this uh, this, walk, uh, this tall white guy, he's walking out with his little backpack and he's got these shorts on. And I'm like, <laughs> I was expecting this, you know, like suited up guy with, you know, like a tuxedo and stuff, you know, like, and no, he's just all casual. And then, you know, as, as we start, you know, going into the training and uh, just he he got he got me on the phone, just, just started dialing. Um, he's like, you know, let's get to work. So we start dialing and whatnot. And, and, and it was it was an amazing experience. He was with me for about two or three days. And uh, he he helped me not only learn uh, how to purchase leads, uh, how to how to uh, run the business as far as setting up the dial, setting up the appointments, and actually went with me to a couple of appointments. Uh, he actually ran a couple of appointments with me, so it's been amazing, man. That's awesome. I mean, straight gave you the the, the concierge treatment over the <laughs> yeah full VIP status. Straight, good work, man. <laughs> so yeah, Alex is an absolute. Uh, uh, I love him, asset to the company, asset to the team. And he's been a pleasure to work with. I actually knew him in a previous life. And so to see how he's grown as a man and a, a business owner has been a tremendous experience. So, but give, give me for, uh, for, for those on here who are, who 
who can resonate. So seven months total, you've been in the industry or you were with your practice company for seven months. What seven were months you, with the practice company. What yes. were you doing before? Like what, what got you looking into insurance in the first place? Like what, what, what do you do? What, what other things do you have going on? Prior to that, um, unfortunately, uh, you know, I had, I had gone through some, uh, some hardships uh, where I, I lost my, my youngest brother and then one of my best friends just within a matter of, uh, of years. And that's what kind of like caught my eye about like the whole life insurance. But before, before life insurance, um, we do own a restaurant between my, 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 my girlfriend and I, uh, my wife and I, um, so I'm Mexican married, man, here, here in Texas, you know, <laughs> you, you, you live with somebody for more than 30 days, man, and you're married. So uh, I'm still working on that, but um, so prior to that, so we, we own a restaurant bar. Um, she's been in the industry for about 13 years. I myself, I, I did construction for about 13, 14 years. Uh, I was always in that position to where uh, I moved up the ladder here pretty, pretty quick when it comes to construction. Um, and I say that because uh, I, I wasn't able to actually get my green card here. I'm, I'm like I said, I, I was born in Mexico and growing up, you know, you can really get a job like a full time job because it had to be like whether it was uh, working on the field or uh, working as a, as a roofer, not necessarily legally. Right. But um, up until I was 18, I was finally able to get my my green card and I, I wanted to do something to where it had a little bit of skill other than just roofing and, you know, banging a hammer. So um, I got into electrical. I moved up the ladder pretty quick. We, we started doing a residential from there. I mean, I caught up pretty quick, so I moved on to commercial. Um, within the first year of working in, in commercial, in the commercial industry, I was able to get a, a move up to a project manager position um, to where we're doing, you know, like big, big buildings. Um, one of them being here, uh, the, uh, the El Paso Chihuahua Stadium, which is a baseball stadium that we did here. I was a project manager for mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. And uh, But I got to a point where it was like, you know, you're only going to be the right-hand man for so long. You know, you have to like kind of open up your own thing or, you know, you can't be living somebody else's dream. So I opened up my own shop. I uh, did uh, the electrical world for about another two years and uh, went through some hardship. And that's how I, that's how I kind of like find, found out about life insurance. Uh, because when my little, my, my youngest brother did pass, um, but the first thing my sister said was the first thing she mentioned, she's like, uh, we should do a GoFundMe. And I was like, you know, I looked at her with that, you know, like what? No, definitely not. You know, um, I, we we take pride in our last names, our last names, you know, both of them, Hernandez Olmo. So I was like, no, definitely not. You know, we we'll, we'll figure out a way to come up with the money to, you know, to, to bury my younger brother. Um, and that's what kind of like got me uh, curious about life insurance. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I was with the practice company for a while, for about seven months. And I mean, luckily, I'm here now. Yeah, luckily you are, man. Very sorry about the family, but but it's uh you know, and, and all the, the backstory, but it puts you in a position now where you look at what we have here at FFL and you it's, I mean, you got Alex's logo now, but you'll have your own very, very soon. And then you'll have your own agency and you'll have your own team and then you'll have your own Danny Hernandez is that it, and that's, that's, that's what we do here. We put people in the best position possible because we take as little spread as possible. Unlike the practice companies that you are <laughs> affiliated with. It's when you're here now with the comp you have now, I mean, do you want to punch them? Or does it, is, are you, are, does it stick in you? I mean, what, what are the feelings you have, you know, with being clean as far as numbers go, but to, to see what products are identical, one company and then FFL. It's uh, it's amazing, man. It's, um, it's amazing. I mean, what's the big difference in, in, in what, I mean, the comp is uh, number one, obviously, I mean, they're lucky that I don't have their address. Otherwise, it'd be tomatoes <laughs> and eggs, you know. But, <laughs> but um, no, I mean, all seriousness, um, I'm, I'm, I was stoked when you know the first, the first uh, family that we were able to protect, and uh, that draft came in, and and it was like, it was, I was like, it was unbelievable, you know, to where oh. um, the fact that not only I, I'm, I'm allowed to protect the family and you know make good comp, uh, but the fact that you're able to teach somebody else. And in turn, the I guess the incentive is that they see that same amount of, that they see that same amount, and they it makes it mo it motivates them a little bit more to you know actually wanting to protect more families. So um, it, it it was a big difference, man. And um, thus far, I mean, uh, it's been nothing but nothing but blessings. So it's awesome, man. It's awesome. All right, well, let's get into some fun stuff. So, couple couple of things. What what kind of leads are you running right now? I do a little bit of everything. Uh, Alex taught me that um, you know you can't you can't marry one a certain type of lead because there's no there's no such thing as a, as the perfect lead or this is the better lead there's no such thing as that um so i do everything for mortgage um honestly i love the the one month old 
and the three month old just right. because that's what got me practicing more than anything. Uh, at first I was like, uh, Alexander was sitting right next to me when we were doing the training and, and, you know, he was like, well, pick up the phone. And he was like, no, pick up the phone and just call. So it kind of got, got me out of that shell to, you know, start calling people versus, uh, with the practice company that it was, you know, it's reaching out to your friends and family and like, Hey, wait, what are you doing? You know, Hey, you know what? I'm doing this insurance thing now, dude. And, you know, so it was a little bit, it was a little rev- <laughs> nerve wracking at first. Um, but now, you know, now it's just, it's the same thing. You know, you pick up the phone and, and, and you, you call people who are actually interested in looking for it. So, um, I like the one month old, uh, just because I've had, I mean, it's been very successful with the one month old. Um, just last week we did a, we, we set up an appointment to where we call the gentleman. Hey, hey this is Danny and this calling from, uh, the benefits office, you know, regarding this life insurance that you requested. And, um, he's, he says, yeah, you know what, uh, an agent called me last week, but, uh, as soon as I told him that I had a life insurance, they hung up on me. So I'm like, oh, I'm sorry about that, you know, but we're here to help. Uh, can we set up an appointment? It's like the only day I got is Sunday. So I'm like, hey, I'm there on a Sunday. So we, we went up on a Sunday and we were able to help him out, uh, him and him and his entire family. So uh, I love the one month old. <laughs> That's great, man. Um, so are you running predominantly in person or do you do a little bit of virtual? What, what is your what's your is there a, is there a percent you do both or all one or all the other? I think when in, when when uh, somebody actually uh, the, the virtual is more of a uh, people that are a kind of a, as a reference that they're referenced to you or they somebody somebody knows somebody and then they don't want to you know you don't want to uh, they, they, their schedule is too hard or their schedule just doesn't work it doesn't match up but for the most part we've been doing in home um, I think especially here in the in the El Paso uh, we're border town with uh, Ciudad Juarez Chihuahua which is Mexico. So 80% of the people that the families that were, 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 were um, coming to their homes uh, are Hispanic and um, us Hispanic man, you know, they don't like doing anything from them. like, why, ¿Por qué necesitas mi, mi seguro social? why do you need my social security number? You know, like, so you have to, you have to be able to, I guess, get in front of them. So where they, you, they get that warm and fuzzy feeling. And then, you know, I'm, I'm one of you guys, you know, <laughs> so. Yeah. That's true, man. I loved in home. And then, and the people that are crushed on virtual, I love them too. It's just it, figure out what works for you. And if you figure out what's working, I love it, man. So well, let's jump into some phone script. I know you're, you you're, you I mean, you're taught by Alex. He's one of the best uh, producers. who never hit hall of fame and uh, maybe he'll do it this last year. <laughs> well, we can all cheer him on. Let's everyone drop an HOF in the comments below to cheer on Alexander and Danny for hitting hall of fame this year. Uh, and so that, but, um, it's one, it's a little joke Alex and I have, cause I tell him he's amazing, but he's just like he's just right there <laughs> you, you do it to change everything. So, um, but I'd love for it. If you would give us your, uh, your phone script, if you could, you know, if, if you talk about one month mortgage, whatever, whatever you're comfortable with, kind of just you roll through it and, uh, we'll, we'll love to hear how you, what you say. Awesome. Um, so, um, Hey, Hey Maria, I'm going to use Maria just because all my aunt's first names is Maria. So, Hey Maria, uh, my name's Danny. Uh, I'm getting back to you regarding the uh, online request we received a little while ago, uh, looking for the uh, state regulated life insurance program. Um, she'll go, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I, I remember doing that. Okay. Awesome. Um, I'm the underwriter assigned to your case. Uh, the purpose of my call is uh, just to verify some information. Uh, you put down here that your address is uh, 123 Main Street. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's my address. Okay, awesome. Uh, you put down your birthday as 1105-87. Uh, uh, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's 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 my birth my, my birthday. Okay, awesome, perfect. So again, my name is Danny Hernandez, uh, and I was I was just letting you know that we did get your uh, request. I'm actually the field underwriter, and uh, they have me assigned uh, to get this information out to you and go through a quick elig- eligibility check. Uh, you, just like I said, it's non-medical, so no blood, no physical, and uh, obviously no pain in the cup. They giggle, right? Um, they just make me uh, check your ID. Uh, make sure you're not strapped to a hospital bed full time. Now, uh, are you still uh, working full time? Are you uh, disabled, or uh, are, you, are you? I'm sorry, you're working. You're retired, working full time, or you're uh, you're disabled? Uh, they tell me, you know, if, if you know, for the most part, when it's a uh, final expense, it's uh, you know their disability or they're retired. So that tells me right off the bat that. They're home for the most part, unless they yep. got some uh, they got some appointments with the doctors, right? So, uh, okay, perfect. So, so you're you're, you're disabled, okay? And um, so, are you single, married, widowed, divorced? No, I'm 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 divorced. Okay, perfect. And then uh, just go into you know just setting up the appointment. Uh, a lot of the times when they you do get you do get a like, well, I didn't I didn't um I don't remember sending that in. Uh, there's obviously uh, we were taught you know we've we've got all of our, our objections in the back and. Uh, I already did that. Perfect. Uh, then that, that'll make my job easier. 
uh, that, that'll make my job easier. So I'm going to put you down for uh, five o'clock, uh, five by five p.m. on Wednesday. Does that work for you? And you just give them options from there. But uh, the biggest thing is just agreeing with their 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 objection and okay. um, getting back to setting up the appointment. Uh, because once you're in front of them, then you know, as mean as they are over the phone, once you're in front of them, they're a complete different person. You know, they're you know, hi mijo, okay, hi yeah, come in. You know, so just very different. <laughs> That's awesome. That was great. I mean, that's, you're, you're correct. I mean, they say stuff because they just want to make sure how certain you are, right? right? How certain are you? I sent this request in, but are you really the guy? Can I really trust you? Are you going to push me? Are you going to challenge me? Do you really care about me? And they're not like verbally saying this, but that's kind of what the the brush off is. You know, I did that. I filled that out. I'm not interested anymore. Well, what, I mean, not interested anymore. You, you already bought life insurance. No, I didn't buy it. I'm not interested anymore. I mean, so that's where when we push through, we get to where we want to get to, which is getting the appointment and getting in front of the family and then ultimately protecting them. So I, I think we'd all be remiss um, if we didn't ask you to possibly do that, which you just did in Spanish. That way- Definitely, we, definitely yeah, we, we actually had to, we translated. We went through the same script and we translated it all. And, I, and I'll, I'll send this to you uh, so you guys can post it. This is a different script from uh, the one I originally saw. I think that I've already seen one script in Spanish, but- well, We'd love so to have the, it, yes. Yeah, definitely. So it's uh, it goes, uh, hola Maria again, right? Hola María, este, mi nombre es Daniel Hernández. Este, le estoy contactando con respecto a la solicitud de niña que recibimos hace un rato en busca de programas de seguros de vida regulados por el Estado de Texas. Um, she's, okay, yeah, yeah. Sí, 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 está bien. Este, soy la, soy la aseguradora asignada a su caso. El propósito de mi llamada es solo para verificar alguna información. Puso aquí su dirección como 123 eh, Main Street. ¿Está correcto? Sí, sí, aquí, aquí vivo yo. Uh, puso su fecha de nacimiento como 11.05 del 87. Sí, sí, soy yo. Ok, perfecto. De nuevo, mi nombre es Daniel Hernández y solo estaba haciendo, uh, hace, haciéndole saber que obtuvimos su solicitud. De hecho, soy el asegurado, asegurador y me, me agendaron para enviarle esta información y pasar por una verificación rápida de ejelividad. Uh, como decía, es no médico. Así que no tenemos que sacar sangre, no tenemos, no, no hay examen físico y no tiene que hacer este ningún examen de orina. Simplemente requiere, requieren que verifiquemos su identificación y asegurar que no esté atada a una cama de hospital tiempo completo. Uh, debería de tomar 10 a 10 a 15 minutos. And then um, after that, like, okay, perfect. So you go into uh, basically, you know, setting up the appointment to uh, ahora su nombre, María. Todavía este, ahora María todavía está trabajando tiempo completo. Este, está jubilada o discapacitada? And whether they're jubilada, which means uh, that they're disabled. Ah, okay, jubilada. Uh, ¿Está casada, soltera o divorciada? Perfecto. Entonces, este, voy a estar en su, en su área visitando a 10 o a, a, a 12 familias. Este, ¿Qué le parece? ¿Tengo el horario a las 4 de la tarde o a las 6 de la tarde? So always give them options, right? Like this or that. So I got a 4 p.m. or I got a 6 p.m. Uh, tengo la, a las 4 o a las 6 de la tarde. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué le parece mejor? A las cuatro, perfecto. Entonces, allí estaré. Este, manejo una, un carrito gris. I drive a silver, a silver, a great car. Uh, mido como cinco, ocho de estatura. Este, si tiene algo para, para apuntar, I always ask my, my, my clients to uh, get something to, to write down, you know? Pen and a paper. Do you have something to write with? ¿Tiene algo para apuntar? Sí, sí, ok, perfecto. Le voy a dar un, le voy a dar un código. El código va a ser FFL05. That basically means I'm giving them a code just so you know, I, so they can identify me when, once I'm at the door. Um, así cuando yo, yo, yo llegue a su puerta, este, me, va, me va a entregar ese código para que sepa que soy yo. Yo le enseño mi, mi, mi certificado, le enseño la, 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 la credibilidad, este, y empezamos con lo que viene siendo la, la presentación. ¿Le parece? Perfecto. And that's, that's pretty much all it is. I mean, you just, this is the same script, but it's in Spanish, so. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Drop a fireball emoji in the chat below to show some love to Danny for doing that. Dude, that was fantastic. I mean, I don't have exact, I got, I could tell by maybe the nuances of what you're saying, but I mean, <laughs> everyone in the chat's absolutely loving it. So this is perfect, spot on, can I get it? Where's the recording? I mean, you killed it. So that's what this is, that's what's so great about FFL is that you're like, well, I've got something that's working. I'm not gonna share with anybody because fear of the possibility of them taking it and possibly infiltrating my market. And that FFL, it's like, there's so many agents, there's so many families that we can protect. There's so many leads coming in every single day that our job is now is to what, you know, Rule one, take care of the house. But rule number two, how many, how many other people can we help? Danny, I truly appreciate you going through that, man. Thank you so much. Definitely, definitely, man. Yeah, and like you said, 
Um, I've always been a true believer of, you know, you have some, some sort of information, a piece of knowledge that can benefit somebody else, whether it's an agent, whether it's an, another family, then pass that forward. Always pass that forward. So definitely, I'll, I'll send this script to you guys so you guys have it, and you guys could post it online. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to put this on FFLamerica.com backslash Espanol. We have a page already that we've been working on. It's got a lot of good content, but it doesn't have this. So will you do me a favor, though? So say I don't speak, which I don't speak I, marginal, más o menos Espanol. That's what I try to say. But, good enough. <laughs> uh, but so if I'm if I'm an agent right now on here, the hundreds of agents we've got on here and we call someone and it's and they pick up and they're speaking in Spanish, a good line, I would think to say to them that I would love if you would translate for us. So everyone here, this is gonna benefit you all because we all call many different people. And if we reach somebody who speaks Spanish, we don't know what to say because they speak Spanish. Um, hi, I'm calling in regards to the life insurance you requested and sent into my office. The life insurance request you sent into my office. Uh, does someone speak English? Can, how would you say that in Spanish? So everyone who's watching that we're gonna, we're all gonna learn this line from Danny that we can now say to people so they don't just hang up on us. Okay, uh, it's, and it's the, basically like, let's say it's an interview. You're saying about like the, the, the lead that you're calling about. Yes. Um, lo estoy contactando con respeto a, a la solicitud en línea que recibimos hace un rato en busca de programas de seguro de vida regulados por el Estado. So that all, all that is, is uh, in, in English, uh, I'm calling you regarding the online request we received a little while ago, looking for state regulated life insurance programs. That's all it is. So in Spanish, again, lo estoy contactando con respeto a la solicitud en línea que recibimos hace un rato en busca de, de programas de seguro de vida regulados por el Estado. How do you, and how do you say, does someone speak English? Does somebody that speaks English? How do you, and then how do you say, then how do you close that? Like, I'm going I'm to say that, and then I'm going to say, does anyone speak English in the house? How do I, like, so if I'm, if I'm Grady and I'm calling in, you know, Maria, your aunt answers and she doesn't speak English. Hay alguien que hable inglés en la casa. Okay. Okay. We're going to translate that. We're going to get this. Sammy's going to type this up. We're going to have it on an image by the end of the, by next week. So awesome. Danny, thank you. That was cool, man, to have, to have this uh, additional, more detailed, how to resolve every lead training. So I love it if you, you know I mean, we're not going out there protecting 45 families in a month if we don't have a good open. And I would love it if you share your open with us. And uh, I mean, which is always a crucial part, right? It's, it's not as crucial as the phone script, right? Because if we don't have a client to sit with, then we we're, we're not doing anything. But probably the two most important it would go three most important parts of this business are having good phone script, having a strong open to set the table and closing and getting them to submit the request for coverage. Right. So let's do the first two today with you. And I'd love it if you would kind of get, share with everybody how, when you sit down, you get through the front door, you know, take shoes off, shoes on. I got it, but let's sit down at the table. How do we start that? Like, is there certain things you do? Do you have the, do you have a, do you have a blue pen? Do you have yellow, pen? you know, people are like, I got pink paper. And I'm like, okay, well, All if that right. works for you, then that's fine. Then, you know, some people out here are going to go buy pink paper and that's fine. If it works for them, it works. But what are the, what are the Danny isms that help you set the table at the beginning of an appointment to make sure the client by the end of what you're doing is, is, is confident and understands what we're going to go through and then end, ultimately end up doing. I'd love it if you'd share that with us today. De definitely. So I think the, the biggest thing when you're in somebody's house and let's say you've already set up the appointment, you're inside the house. The biggest thing is there's still going to be doubt regardless of what you are. If you're wearing a suit, you're wearing a tie, you're wearing a T-shirt, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm I have tattoos and I usually go out, put a polo on, you know, and, and go out to these families house. So their initial reaction is like, well, who the hell is this guy? Right. Um, yeah. So once you're inside their house. So the first thing I do is I pull out my my license, I pull out my license, I show them my license. You know, I am a, a licensed a life insurance agent. I show them my ID and then I show them the credibility, right? Uh, which has all the, the, the companies that we work with. And I basically go into it. So these are all the companies that we work with. We do have access to hundreds of, of companies. Uh, these are some of them. Do you, have you heard of them? Oh, okay, perfect. You've heard of Mutual of Omaha. Yeah, that's one of our favorite ones as well. So um, after you do the credibility and after I show them my, 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 uh, my license, I sit down and I ask them, um, as far as uh, what, what they know about life insurance, because I want to see where they are, you know, how much they know, and they, maybe they already know they want X, X coverage, right? So I ask them, what do you know about life insurance? And the typical question, especially being that we're here in a Hispanic, we're here in a Hispanic uh, in an area, um, a lot of the times they just, oh, if somebody dies, you know, there's money. Like, that's yeah, perfect. Yes, that's the old type of life insurance. 
uh, just like everything in the world has evolved, uh, so have these companies, right? So have these uh, life insurance companies just because uh, now they don't, not, not, not only do they offer the death benefit, but they also offer living benefits. Uh, do you have any idea what living benefits is? No. Okay, well, perfect. So living benefits basically means that if something critical, something chronic or terminal happens to you, something like cancer, heart attack, stroke, uh, were to happen to you, uh, you don't necessarily have to pass away in order for you to be able to use this money. So, and then I give them a two minute story of, you know, of something that actually did happen. Um, you know, we're uh, one of our, with, with a practice company that one of our, the agents had just, uh, when she was in the, in the process of getting her license she got, the first thing she did was get her mom a, um, a uh, life insurance coverage of, you know, let's say put a number to it, half a million dollars of coverage. So uh, within the six months of her having this uh, life insurance policy, uh, she gets diagnosed with cancer. So um, as the agent, our job is to make a claim, just like, you know, any other insurance, you know, like you, you have a, a house, uh, you give them examples. I, I, I usually use an example, like, uh, just like your, your house, right? What happens when the roof leaks? Well, you make a claim towards the insurance, right? And they send out a check and you're, you're supposed to repair that. Same thing with us. So we had, you have this policy and uh, because the lady, the, the, the lady had this $500,000 policy, she was able to get about $400,000 worth of it. Uh, to pay for her chemotherapy. She was able to pay off her house and she was obviously uh, able to uh, remodel her house, make it real, wheelchair accessible uh, to where that's that's an example of a living benefit. Um, so different strokes for different folks, right? This is all based on on your health and your medical history. So there's going to be a couple of questions I'm going to I'm going to go over with you. And then I go over, you know, the medical history and whatnot and uh, just kind of attach it to to the to uh, not necessarily attach the product, but show them the value more than anything of what it can do while you're alive. Because um, there's a saying in, 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 in the Hispanic community, you know, like, ya muerto, ya pa que lo quiero, you know, but like when I pass away, what, what, what do I need this money for? You know, <laughs> if, if I'm not going to use it. So more than anything, I try to show them the value of it. Uh, just give them the information of what it can do for them while they're alive. And uh, from there on, it's just, you know, it's like, oh, I didn't realize that you can actually, this, this actually happens when, you know, as a living, as a living benefit, or if this happens and they start asking questions and once you grasp that interest, then it's, you know, it's just finding out the, the right policy or in the right coverage for them. That's awesome. That's great. I mean, that's, that's part of the business is putting them in a position where they understand the value. They see that you, that what they currently have is, is a situation that's not going to be as good when they procure this product and we can't make a decision today. Definitely. Awesome, Danny. All right. Give us the, uh, what are the goals for the year? The goals for the year is obviously I want I want that red jacket, man. There we go. <laughs> and, uh, I want that red jacket. So Hall of Fame, definitely. Um, uh, I'm 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 you know I, I'm carrying the, the the FFL fire logo up until I have mine. So um, definitely this month I'm I'm shooting for uh, having our own logo. Um, we just opened up an office here in El Paso. So anybody that's in in the area, definitely you know uh, look us up. But um, the goal is just to get as many people uh, in the business as I can. I talk to everybody about it. Uh, simply because there's, there's an opportunity. Um, so get as many people involved and protect more families, man. That's I'm, I'm just, I'm just working. I'm just grinding. <laughs> That's it, man. That's the answer. Just keep working, keep grinding, keep being a good example, keep leading. And um, the team will come, the team will follow. And Andrew always used to say your team will do half of what you do. Right. And so if you go out there and protect 45 families a week, you can expect that you'll have some, you have some outliers that'll probably do as much as you, but the average will be right around 20 families a week. And that's okay. Go put them in a good position and, and keep leading. But if you only go out there and protect 12, 17 families a week, you got a bunch of people that are going to protect nine. And now we're not putting them in the best position to be able to capitalize. And, 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 uh, I said week, that'd be a lot for a week. Right. But, uh, 40 a month, 20, uh, 20 a month, but regardless, we get, we get the, we get the numbers, but if you're going out there and you're working, you're putting, you're putting the numbers in your favor. Uh, success can be certain here. So Danny, appreciate you, man. Uh, drop a, another fireball emoji in the chat <laughs> below just to show Danny some love because this was fantastic training. Appreciate you, man. Excited for the future. Excited uh, to watch you get a red jacket on stage next year. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you for having us. And yeah, definitely um, uh, at convention, uh, uh, there's another gentleman that here is here in the office with us. His name's uh, Luis. Uh, Luis Reyes and uh, we're like, oh, that's Grady, that's Andrew, and then Sean Mike walks in and we're like, that's Sean Mike. So we're we're kind of like starstruck because <laughs> we 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 hop onto these you know to these videos. So it's it's a blessing to be here, man. Thank you so much for having us, and yeah, look forward looking forward to the future. Awesome, man. Me too, man. Appreciate you. Make it a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.